Hey guys, Mikey here from Global Rotator Group. Uh, here to talk to you today about mining Ethereum. So, uh, what we've got is uh, Bitcoin. Everyone knows about Bitcoin, right? And you're going to be looking for the next big thing in cryptocurrency. And there's eventually going to be a competitor that comes up, and we want to try and latch onto that competitor and try and get in early. So we've got uh, we've got enough uh, Ethereum, for example. When the price starts to rise, we want our value and our currency to go up. So I'm going to show you a quick video today, guys, because uh, I had a lot of interest on my Facebook, so I thought I'd rather just um, make a video to show you guys how to do it. So you start off by going to this website, um, and I'll have the link in the video for you, or the people that I've already spoken to, they've already got the link. So you go up to the top right-hand corner, sign up, uh, put your email address, you know, create a password, that sort of thing. I've already created an account, obviously, so I'm just going to log in. <clears throat> and once you log in, you need to download the software to run on the computer that you want to do the mining on. So at the moment, you'll notice that I've started an account with these guys today with an, with an action. So this is with a pool. The advantages of mining with a pool are basically you're jumping in with a whole bunch of other people um, so you don't have to have the best computer or the best hardware in the world and you can still make money because what you're doing is you're joining a whole bunch of other people to, to basically share the uh, share the coins that are found and share the coins that are processed and you get a cut out of the out of the processing power that your hardware is actually doing um, so you'll see today you know I've only been running my other computer on this account for um, probably a few hours and um, I've already mined point, point zero 0.06 of one Ethereum. Uh, one Ethereum right now is worth about 13, 14 US dollars. Um, but obviously, if you catch onto it early and it explodes like when uh, Bitcoin does, you can imagine Bitcoin right now is up around you know five, six hundred dollars per Bitcoin US dollars. Um, imagine if we could uh, catch onto that in the early stages and then you know keep mining for the next six to twelve months and hopefully the price uh, explodes. So what we want to do is we want to download uh, up top here, go to downloads. Okay, and it'll actually detect what operating system you've got on your computer. So if it's for this computer, um, just click get it and it'll download. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other systems here that you can you can download it for. So we just want to download this software. <coughs> and uh, while this while this download uh, while this software is downloading, guys, so. Uh, a lot of people will notice that yes, you can actually mine Bitcoin in this software. Um, the reason you don't want to mine Bitcoin from your regular computer or regular hardware these days is it's it's not efficient to do so. You'll actually um, you'll actually lose money because you'll be spending more money in electricity keeping your computer on 24/7 to mine Bitcoin than what you're actually going to get out of the Bitcoins themselves. So guys, please don't. Please don't download this and then start mining Bitcoin thinking that you're going to get rich from mining Bitcoin because you're not. You're actually going to be <laughs> you're actually going to be losing money if you start to mine Bitcoin. So I'm showing this to you today, guys, to mine Ethereum. Um, obviously, there's heaps of other um, the, there is heaps of other cryptocurrencies that you can run and that you can mine. Uh, so this this section here, we just want to we want to create a desktop icon as well. Just install it to the default location, install, there we go, and then we want to run Minergate, uh, and we want to log in with our username and password that we created earlier. Now on this screen here guys, so, so there's two different uh, phases you can do. Smart Miner is basically um, it'll it'll pick whatever whatever is going to generate the most amount for you guys. Um, as far as uh, profits are concerned, you'll notice the video got a little bit chuggy there, mainly because um, it's just started using all of my CPU and my graphics instantly. So we don't want to use the smart miner for this one, guys. Uh, we want to click on the miner tab over here, and what you want to do is next to F for Ethereum. We want to use the GPU mining. Okay, don't worry about the CPU mining. You want to use GPU mining, and I'm just going to put it on intensity one. Okay, so I'll show you guys what happens because I don't want it to use all of my processing power. Don't need to worry about these little little things that pop up. 
um, and then once you once you start mining, guys, it it grabs. Um, so your email address is basically your account with Minergate. Once you want to cash out or once you want to use your funds, you can um, you can go to your wallet and you can you know you'll have to create a, a, a wallet like an e wallet like a Bitcoin wallet kind of thing, but for Ethereum. Um, and then you can you know you can cash out that money or you can trade that money if you wanted to. So what this uh, what this DAG file is is it's um, that's your actual file that is going to start processing um, the shares and the and the Ethereum for you and start harvesting it. So basically, you notice a little little two here. So I've already got one machine. Um, I've already got one other computer, which I don't use as my main computer. Uh, it's already it's already on twenty four seven right now, um, mining Ethereum. So once this gets up to a hundred percent, it'll just start um, it'll start the mining process for you. And you just leave this running in the background. If you want to run this on your main computer, okay, um, you can basically just put these intensities. You know, down to one or two while you're using your computer, so it doesn't slow you down too much. And then when you go to bed, if you leave your computer on, just crank them, crank them right up to as high as they go. So one thing, if you're using the GPU mining and you've got it on max intensity, um, oops, I just accidentally clicked that. Do not use the ECU, uh, the CPU mining as well, um, because it'll actually reduce the amount that your GPU is mining. It'll actually slow it down. Um, so any other questions, guys? Just give me a yell. Um, you know, contact me on Facebook. More than happy to talk to you guys. Step you through the process again. Um, otherwise, just review the video again. And and thanks for your time. Cheers, guys.